What's up everybody and thank you for joining me for another video. My name is WAC4863, but you can call me WAC. In today's video, I'm going to show you where to find all the Lemurian lore stones. Now there are 13 Lemurian lore stones scattered around the exiled lands and I'm going to take you to each one of them. So if we look on our map, we are here on Telus Island. There's also the Sanctuary Ruins, which is what we're standing on. There we go. That's where we're at. Eight h and when you get up here you just need to run into the ruins run to the back of the ruins you can see this guy standing here you want to interact with this lore stone now i am not going to interact with them in this video i will leave that for you to do and get all of the lore that you want the second lore stone is going to be out here by the circle of swords we are right here on the map there's the circle of swords that's going to be 10 c and you want to run to the north and you'll find the lore stone right here the third lore stone is actually kind of right out in the open if we look at our map we are right here by new asgarth and there is this body of water right here it's actually right there it's right on the other side of the body of water so there's new asgard right there and if we just swim on to the other side of this body of water, you can see the lore stone is right there in front of me. But you could always run around the body of water if you really wanted to. I swam across it, but whatever you want to do, here is the third lore stone. The fourth lore stone isn't too far from where we just were. If we pull up our map, we are here at Meltwater Crag. Now, Meltwater Crag is on the line of 10 and 11 in F. And what you want to do is just look up above this camp. There's the Meltwater Crag, and right above this camp, you can see the lore stone right here. The fifth lore stone is actually very close to where we just were as well. If you are familiar with Leon's Watch, we can just come over the edge of Leon's Watch right here. And if we come down below, you can see there is that lore stone right there, right below Leon's Watch, right in the side of that cliff. If you're new here, I'd like to encourage you to click that subscribe button, click that bell so you get notified when I upload another video. Number six is pretty easy to find as well. I'm actually standing in what is one of the most popular places to build, at least on PvP. Let me run out. This is where we're at. Let me show you where we are on the map. We are right here. So just in line with the Great Dam, if you just run east from the Great Dam, you'll get there. But that's in 10G right there. And... If you just head right over this direction, the lore stone is just behind these trees. Now, number seven, you're definitely going to want some cold weather gear. Also, come up here ready to fight some saber tooths. But this location is actually in the Ice Spire Chasm. So, there's the Ice Spire Chasm. You have to do a bit of jumping to get to this. I do not recommend climbing from down below. Definitely want to come from the top and I'm starting from the western side of the ice spire chasm but as you can see there is some jumping puzzles that you're gonna have to get through so what you are going to have to do is make your way right out to there so the best way to do that is actually come right up this direction and you're gonna jump across here you get to see some ghosts there and we're just gonna fall down on this one no need to jump this one as well we could just fall down and this one we will actually have to jump so you're gonna want to make sure that you can actually climb that you're not extremely cold because you do have to make it up to here and that is the seventh Lemurian lore stone make sure you loot the chest while you're here grab all the goodies Number eight is also near Ice Spire Chasm. So here we are, and here is Ice Spire Chasm. This time we're coming from the west side. And you can see there's this large building there. You would run likely from over there. The Black Keep is going to be right over there. Remember, there are skeletons 
and Sabertooth's in this area, so come ready to fight and bring your cold weather protection gear. But you just want to get a running jump. You end up falling on that right there. You stop and then you can climb back up and boom. And then if you run down, you can see this stone is tucked right down here. If you're enjoying this content, don't forget to whack the like button. I appreciate the support. Thank you. All right, so stone number nine is gonna be right out here in G11. Now it is near Benyak and Seal, but we don't come up the same way to get to the lore stone that we would to get to Benyak and Seal. Benyak and Seal is up there. We wanna come past that down this direction and then climb this set of stairs. At the top of this stairs, it is going to be just off the path to the left. And once we reach the top, we just take a left and there's the stone right there. Now you can also get to number nine by coming through the passage right here in the jungle. If you wanted to come through there, that is going to lead you through a dungeon and out the other side right next to that Lemurian lore stone. That's what the entrance to the passage looks like for anybody that's not familiar with it. Now number 10 is easily overlooked because it is very high up. Let me show you where we're at on the map. We are in grid F12 and it's just down from the hidden way. So here's Dragon Mouth, that's one entrance into the volcano. Here's the hidden way, that's another entrance to the volcano. And here is Emir's Delusion. And then of course the Black Keep is over here. So we're right along this ridge line. And I'm going to show you from the hidden wayside. So you would run through the volcano down through here and then up this direction. And what you're looking for is this outcropping of rock. And there's actually two nodes of black ice up there. Let me run past it just to show you what's on the other side. If we continue down this ridge, we will come up on Emir's Delusion. Here it is right here. So you can see from both sides where it's at, you can see that black ice right there at the tippy top. That's where we wanna go. Now, you might need climbing gear. I have 169 stamina. You can see right there, 169. Here is how many points I have in grit. Just two, a little over two is all I have in grit. But if you come to this side, kind of the north, facing side of it and you start your climb here this is the best way to go up it's going to have the most stopping points so we'll just continue to climb up here and i'll show you all those stopping points on the way and you want to stay kind of to the left side additionally when you're climbing especially things that have odd outcroppings and different things like that. You wanna make sure that you hold your jump button on whatever you're on. So for me, since I'm on PC, it is the space bar, but whatever your jump button is, you wanna hold that as you're climbing up. And I'll give you an example right here. If I don't hold the jump button when I hit this spot right here, I fall back down. If I do it again and I hold the jump button, we're just going to glide right by. You can see I had a little bit of what looks to be like a glitch or a lag. That's actually me losing grip on the wall and then regaining grip. Here's the black ice that I told you about. One, two, three nodes right there. We have to continue climbing up to find the 10th Lemurian lore stone. The 11th Lemurian lore stone is actually pretty easy to find. We are right down here next to the black keep. You can see the obelisk right there, and there is the lore stone right in front of me. So just come into the obelisk, run up here, kill these skeletons, and then interact with the lore stone. Number 12 is probably the easiest one to find. There is the obelisk right there, and all we need to do is head towards the dungeon. So we will act like we're headed towards the Black Keep dungeon, and as we get up there, we'll see the lore stone. It's right there next to the entrance. It, this is the one that pops out to almost everybody, but if you've missed it, I'm gonna show you where to find it. So 
all the way up. We're going to continue to head our way up, all of course fighting all the skeletons on the way because that's a thing when you're not in admin and cloaked and godded. And if we take a right, so there's the entrance to the Black Keep. If we take a right and just run right over here, there is the Lore Stone. That is number 12. All right, so let's look at the location for the last Lemurian lore stone. There's Athgarth right there. There's another camp right next to us. What's that? That is Nordhoff. We are right next to Nordhoff, and we are in F10. So right, right there, we want to be up this ridge, and we're just going to run right up here to this outcropping of rocks, and the final Lemurian lore stone is going to be right there. And that's all I have for this video, but the fun doesn't have to stop here. There's a couple other videos coming up on the screen. You can pick one of those to watch next. I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making it. I'll catch you next time. Peace. I'd like to give a big shout out to all my YouTube members. Y'all are absolute legends. If you'd like to become a legend, there's a button below that says join. That'll give you all the details. I'd like to thank all my subscribers for their continued support, likes, comments, and general awesomeness. If you're not subscribed, you can start your free trial today and cancel at any time. Clicking the bell is highly recommended so you get notified when I upload another video.